Now, here's another quick story that proves once again we are living in Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. Title, My parents had you-know-what with my girlfriend. No joke. Can't make this up. Says here, I know this is going to sound completely effing insane, you think? But I can't really talk about it with anyone in my real life. And I need to say it somewhere because I'm losing my mind over the situation. I feel like I'm living in a terrible simulation or something. I hope I'm living in a bad simulation. Well, brother, I don't think you are. I introduced my girlfriend to my parents last weekend. We've only been dating officially one month, but things were going really well. I had met her parents. She wanted to meet mine. I'm in Canada, and it's Thanksgiving this weekend. I know Canada did Thanksgiving, but okay. Uh, my girlfriend wasn't going to be uh, able to see them then, so we did everything a weekend early so they had a chance to meet her. I thought it all went great. They seemed to get along with her. She came off a bit nervous, but I figured that was just because she was being my parents for the first time. Meeting the parents after one month of dating, that seems a little quick, but they're young. After we got back to my apartment, though, we sat down in my bedroom. I have roommates. It's my most private place to talk. Because she said she had something that she needed to talk to me about, and it couldn't wait. What, she didn't like his mom's cooking? She just came right out and said that toward the end of the last school year, my girlfriend and one of her friends had you-know-what with my parents. I'd be like, remember different strokes? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. Apparently, her friend matched with my mom on Tinder and was invited to have you-know-what with her and my dad. So it isn't bad enough his girlfriend is as well, but the parents? She wanted to go because it was a fantasy that she had, but she was too nervous to go alone. My girlfriend went along because she was single, and it sounded fun too. She just went along to do a, a, a swinger thing because she just, well, sounds like fun to me. She says it only happened once, but we end up breaking up that night. How could you stay with her after that? By the next morning, I convinced myself that she had the wrong couple. So I called my mom up to talk to her about it on the phone. She ended up confirming everything and apologizing to me about it. My parents are swingers. I've known that for a long time, but I had no idea they were going after people the same age as me. So yeah, now I'm completely disgusted at not visiting my parents, at least for this Thanksgiving. It's not their fault. I really know it isn't, but I can't be around them right now. I'm including as a note at the bottom, we're both 19 years old now and 18 last year. This isn't an abuse story, it's just an f up one. Sam Gamora 2.0. Well, obviously, it ain't going to work out between him and his girl, knowing that his girl was uh, doing Lord knows what in many Lord knows what positions with his mom and dad. But you can see here how when parents have a certain lifestyle, even if they're both into it, and it's not affecting each other, it can affect the family. Now, how many times does a situation happen where the parents are swinging and ends up with one of their children's boyfriends or girlfriends? Really. But still, it will have a ripple effect one way or another. That's why I think if, if two adults are going to do this and they're both into the lifestyle, okay, fine. But if you have kids, a bad idea because you just never know, especially now in the days of the internet where videos could pop up online or Lord knows what people can talk, pictures, you name it. Bad, bad way to go. But anyhow, Sam Gamora 2.0.